Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I thought I would show you how to use Aunt Martha's hot iron transfer pencils. And to demonstrate these pencils, we're going to make a fun little project today called Sunrise on a Hill. This quilt pattern came to me, I was sitting with my niece Kayla uh, just the other day and she asked me to draw her a picture so, so that she could color. And uh, while I was drawing this picture, I fell in love with it and I thought it would make such a cute little art quilt. So over the weekend, I sat down at the computer and drew up this little pattern. What's really fun about this pattern is it's like a three in one, meaning that you have a full page printable that you can print out on your fabric, directly on your fabric. If you do not know how to do that, you can uh, go to the description box below. I'm going to put a link to a video that shows you how you can print this right on your fabric. Then I mirror imaged the same picture so that we can use these pencils today. And when using these pencils, you want to make sure that all of your images have been mirror imaged. So you have a mirror imaged copy. And then you have an applique map. And this tells you where all of your little applique pieces go so that you could do this all in fabric with your applique pieces. So how fun is that, right? But today we're going to be working with the mirror image side, which is this one. And we're going to be working with some parchment paper. Uh, the directions say to use tracing paper. I do not have any, so we're going to use some parchment paper. You can see that you can see through the parchment paper very easily. And I buy a box of this from the Dollar Tree and it lasts me a good little while. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, I brought you a little bit closer so that you could see better. Let's go ahead and read the directions for these pencils. It says draw or trace onto tracing paper with the transfer pencil. Trace design liberally and press firmly so the transfer marks are clear and bold. Tracing as heavily as possible will ensure a good stamping when transferring onto fabric. Place the traced design pencil side down onto your fabric and press firmly with a dry hot iron for five seconds. Okay, that seems fairly simple, right? <laughs> uh, it says, since the transfer will react differently on various fabric types, we can't guarantee the removal of the stamping. To help remove stamping from 100% cotton, use cold water and dish soap and air dry. So that's what we're going to use today. We're going to use 100% cotton, and we're going to go ahead and start tracing our design directly onto our parchment paper. And remember, we're using the mirror imaged uh, copy of the pattern. So I'll go ahead and get started.
All right, since we're using these pencils and we're not sure that this is actually going to wash out of our quilt when we're done, I did not trace all of the fine little details within the house because uh, I don't want that to show up in case this red pencil doesn't wash out of my fabric. What I will do is have the drawing next to me when I'm at the machine and I'm thread painting to see the details that I want to fill in. So I have everything traced out. I hope that I did it dark enough. And I've already pre-cut my piece of fabric. This pattern calls for a piece of fabric that is cut eight and a half inches wide by 14 inches long. So this is a legal size piece of paper. <laughs> Or a piece of fabric so when you're printing off your design if you do decide to print directly on your fabric you will want to change your settings from a letter size to legal size also when you're printing your pattern uh, if you're doing the applique make sure to change those settings as well I just want to make sure that I trace this dark enough yeah I guess that that's going to be dark enough. Really, I just want a reference point of where I'm supposed to be on my fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and heat up the iron, making sure to turn off the steam, and we're going to press this into place. All right, I'm going to try to keep you close so that you can see how well this transfers. Hopefully my arms don't get in the way. <laughs> I have my piece of cotton and it is on the pressing board. I'm thinking you want a nice good firm pressing surface to do this with. Now we're going to take our tracing of our design and we're going to flip it over so that the transfer pencil is actually touching the fabric. And we're going to line this up exactly where we want the piece to be. And I think that that is really good. And now we're going to press. Now I would make sure that you hold this paper really nice and firm so there's no shifting. Because once the heat actually activates the pencil, the mark is going to stay. And again, we're not sure if that's going to wash out or not. So we don't want to mess up our print. So we're going to hold that paper really nice and firm. And it says to do this for five seconds. So we're just going to press this. Again, holding your tracing paper really firm in place. Oh yeah, that shows up pretty dark, doesn't it? <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing some thread painting, so I'm hoping that my thread will actually cover the red lines. We will see. And then I'm going to come in with some ink tense pencils and color everything in. All right, let's check our design, making sure not to shift anything around. Oh, I guess we could do the house a little bit more and what I've noticed is that the transfer pencil has made my fabric a little bit pink <laughs> that might be because I'm using parchment paper I'm not really sure again let's just lift this up and see Yeah, I think that's good. So you can see our image is transferred onto the fabric now. It's a little bit of pink through here. If that was an issue for me, I would be a little bit irritated. <laughs> but because I'm going to do a sunrise, uh, pink's fading into blue, I don't care about the pink tinting that is here. And again, it's probably because I used parchment paper. You might want to try the tracing paper to see if that works. But all my reference lines are here. 
and I'm ready to go ahead and create my layer. I'm going to use a layer of batting underneath my fabric. Just like that. And I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to do some thread play or some thread art or thread painting, if you will, to create my image. I'm going to set up the machine so that hopefully you can see while I do that. Doing the thread painting, go ahead and put your darning foot or your free motion foot on your machine. And of course, set all the settings that are required for your machine. And of course, the color thread that you want to use. We're going to go ahead and have some fun at the machine now.
all of my threads from where I traveled from one place to another. And I think this looks pretty close to my drawing, right? There's the drawing and there's my thread painting. So uh, just a quick review and uh, opinion on these pencils. If I was not going to paint on my fabric, I think I would be a little unhappy with the pink transfer stuff that remains. Maybe when you wash that, it'll come out. And that's what I would hope. Uh, I think I will look for a transfer pencil that transfers in black instead of red. So that if I was not going to do anything else, I wouldn't have pink in my little art quilt. Today we're going to go ahead and use some ink tense pencils. And I'm also going to be using the GAC 900 uh, by Golden. It is a heat set fabric painting medium and we're going to color in my painting. I'm going to go ahead and do this part and I will fast forward so you can see the process and we'll finish up when this is all done.
that's so cute. Being perfectly transparent with you all. I rushed through this and I really wish I would have taken my time because I had a lot of bleeding and a lot of mistakes. But overall, I think it is really cute. Maybe the next time I will slow down and take my time. Today we used the Aunt Martha's Hot Iron Transfer transfer pencils. <laughs> you can find these at Joann's. They are in the embroidery section. My review on them after everything is said and done, there is still some pink showing in different places that wasn't covered with the inks or with the thread. If you were going to wash this, I would hope that that came out. This is an art quilt and it won't be washed. So unfortunately you will see that. I think I will look for a black transfer pencil for my next project. But overall these did work as far as transferring my design to my fabric. I was pretty pleased with that part. Again today we used the Inktense pencils and the Golden GAC 900. That was my first time using that product in an art quilt. And I may stick to using the aloe because I, again, even though I was rushing, I did have some bleeding. And generally when I use the aloe, I don't have a lot of this. So that's just my experience with the product. Overall, I'm really happy. Again, we used this pattern. I will have a link to this pattern down below in the description box. Again, three different ways that you could make this quilt. You could print it out on fabric. You could transfer it the way we did. And there's some fun applique pieces if you enjoy doing raw edge applique. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, I hope that you come back. I look forward to doing more uh, thread painting and all kinds of free motion work with our domestic machines and with my long arm. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good afternoon.